You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. The personal representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, praised the achievements of the Bahraini football team and its qualification in the 23rd Gulf Cup. He praised the efforts of the team and their significant level of performance which resulted in making this achievement. His Highness stressed the importance of preparing for the next match against Oman and to implement the best strategy to achieve a positive result and qualify to the finals. He expressed high confidence in the team and its capabilities. He also hailed the cheering of the Bahraini fans and their unlimited support towards their team in which it motivated the team players to perform with their highest levels and enhance the status of the kingdom. The personal representative of Zmatsi, the King for Charity, Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Chairman of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, also emphasized the important role played by the Bahraini team fans in the qualification of the national team to the semi-finals of the Gulf Cup 23, noting that the keenness of the Bahraini fans to attend the match and show support for this team created a source of strength for the players that intensified their efforts to move up to the next stage of the tournament. His Highness continued to state that Bahraini fans have demonstrated their patriotism through their stance of solidarity with the national team. He added that this promising national team has gained support not only from the stadium goers but from all over the kingdom, which was evident through the celebrations that spread in Bahrain's towns and villages alike. His Highness Sheikh Nasser predicted a larger turnout by the national team's fans in its upcoming match, praising in this regard the fans' loyalty as an attribute of the authentic Bahraini people. Sheikh Nasser reiterated his support of the national team and the providing of initiatives that contribute to the team's victory, which includes the transfer of Bahraini fans to Kuwait in recognition of their role in this positive outcome. Under the patronage of the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities organized the first charity race for people with disabilities. More than 250 players participated in the race. His Highness Sheikh Khalid commended the efforts of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities under the leadership of its president, Sheikh Mohammed bin Raij Al Khalifa, in organizing the race. He hailed the high participation of people with disabilities in the race, affirming that it reflects their strength and determination. Nation. His Honours congratulated the winners of the race, wishing the other participants success in upcoming competitions, hailing the efforts of the organizing committee, which resulted in the success of the event. For his part, the president of the Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities attributed the success of the race to the support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, adding that it reflects his keenness to encourage people with special needs.
A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 39,935,000 shares worth 5,596,000 Bahraini dinars conducted through 682 transactions. Investors traded in 22 companies, 11 witness horizon shares, 6 fell and the rest maintained their shares. The commercial banks was the leading sector and the services sector came in second. Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Dr. Abdul Hussein Mirza received Huawei Regional CEO Paul Fengnan. The minister was briefed on the activities and projects of Huawei in various fields, especially in their projects in the digital transmission systems and the operation of smart meters and smart lighting as well as solar energy. The company's desire to open areas of joint cooperation with the ministry was also discussed. The minister gave the visitors a presentation on some national projects in the field of renewable energy and welcomed the opening of cooperation opportunities with local and international companies specialized in this field.